Hey Jacob. Yeah. I'm looking through your videos and it appears you don't have a video on how you cloned yourself. Sounds about right. <laughs> so you're so you're that kind of person? I just I just didn't think anyone would want to see that. You think something as cool as that nobody would want to see? No. I don't want to hear your excuses, Jacob. It's not an excuse. Then why are you keeping the information to yourself? I'm not. I mean, I, I will show people how to do it. So I need you to know. Thank you. Happy now? Hello? Alright guys, I hope you guys liked the intro. Today I'm going to be showing you exactly how to do that. So, first things first, what you're going to want to do is you're, you're going to want to record two clips. The first clip is obviously just going to be either you reacting or, or even acting to essentially what you, what you want to put together. Personally, the way that I do it, the, the easiest way that I found is I actually have AirPods, so I just put the AirPod in my ear after I record the, the react or the act. And essentially I get it to my phone and I play it through my AirPod so I know when to say something, how to say something, and really just makes everything easier and it makes things flow, flow better. Also, to make things just so there's no error, you're going to want to use a table, a tripod, whatever you can set your camera on so that there's no camera movement, no, no discrepancy there. After you get your two clips recorded, you're going to want to bring them to your computer and get them out of your computer. After you do that, that easy process there, you're going to put them in Adobe Premiere Pro and then wait for Adobe Premiere Pro to load up. Uh, you can do this on multiple different softwares. Personally, I primarily I use Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, to my knowledge, you can't do this in iMovie. I actually, I used to edit with that. When Premiere opens, you're going to want to create a new file or if you have an, a file already open that you want to put the clips to, to. You want to name it whatever you want to, and then uh, and then you're gonna click OK. Personally, my, my preference, I always size them first, so I know exactly how and when, because I'll I'll fine tune them later on. But I size them first, cut them, do everything that I have to do in that aspect. After I do that, I, I drag the first clip, the video clip up. After I size them perfectly, I always drag the the video clip up and then the the audio clip down, and that just makes things so super easy. So you could just drag the second clip in between them both. The next thing is that you want to just learn, opacity is key. I always drag my opacity to about 60 to 70 percent. In this case I believe I did 68 percent. The reason I do that is eventually you're going to create a mask over it and you don't want to interfere with either clip. So it's just the easiest way to get a perfect mask. The next thing is you're going to want to mask the two clips together. All, so they're essentially an all-in-one kind of clip. To do that, you're going to want to go up to the ellipse mask tool. Once you do that and you connect the points together, you're going to automatically see a instant difference and you're going to notice that they're pretty much the same the same clip. Depending on how the clips fit together in a line, you might notice a a line in between the clips uh, where the where the mask was or the where the edge of the mask was. After you mask them together, you might notice that there's a there's a line where the at the edge of the mask. Uh, to do that, all you have to do is essentially feather it, feather the mask out, and you'll see that that it sort of just smooths the the edge, uh, makes things flow a lot a lot better as well. And then before I before I get done, I always I continue to fine tune the clips so that that they're that I'm happy with them and that they flow together perfectly. The last thing that I do is I always create an adjustment layer. To create an adjustment layer, you go right right down to the bin, right click, new item, then you click adjustment layer, and then you can size it to, to fit the clips perfectly. After you do that, you can just click on the adjustment layer and then fix the basic corrections as I do in the video. And then after you do that, you give it a quick playback, make sure you, you like it, make sure everything is good to go. And that, that is how you create a clone of yourself. That is it for today's video. Thank you guys all for watching. If you liked it, feel free to hit that like and subscribe button. If you hated it, feel free to tell me why in the comment section below. And there are going to be way more tutorial videos out there for you. But if you have any questions, comments, and concerns, you can always ask. And I will reply to every comment that I get. And without further ado, I mean, thank you. And I will see you guys in the next video. This is the best drink ever, but I'm not sponsored by it, so there might be a blur.